Alright guys, so uh, I've done a thing, and it's going to uh, kind of change things the way we do this channel. Um, I hope it's not in a bad way, but um, I've definitely made a change that's going to affect how things are going to go. Um, fortunately, I'm just a person that uh, can't stay with one thing, and I like to learn, so uh, this was my next step, and I just couldn't pass up this opportunity. So, uh, let me show you. So this guy here. This is a Link ECU. This is the G4X version, so their new version just came out uh, last year. Um, this is now installed in the Subaru. Yeah, so um, what does that mean, right? Uh, I kind of talk about this channel as if I'm going to uh, teach everybody on cob tuning, which I, I do want to do, and I still want to do. We'll, we'll talk about that. But um, for me, Going to this Link ECU was a great option. Um, I got a great deal on a open box version of it, and I've been looking at this ECU for a couple, like a year now, maybe two years, and I've been kind of fanboying over it just because of all the things it can do. So uh, I got it installed. Um, here is the uh, the old ECU, the Subaru OEM ECU. So the thing about that is, if for some point there's something wrong with the ECU, I want to do some tuning, I want to make some more videos. As long as I'm thinking about this right, there should be no reason why I can't take that old OEM ECU, pop it back in there, car will be the same way. I don't plan on making any changes to the car that should affect, excuse me, that should affect the, uh, the way it runs. So if I do need to make some big time video or something, um, that, that can be the case. Uh, so yeah, going forward, that's going to be something I want to talk about. Um, and get people interested in and inform more people about it and I'm not going to do any tuning videos on it um, there already is multiple stuff out there that's just way better than what I can do um, you got HP Academy which I'm a VIP member of and I do suggest HP Academy for anybody who wants to learn tuning to get into that um, they cover all the very very basics and this is not a paid or sponsored thing I'm just kind of telling you what I've done personally and I enjoy them and then there's another guy called Evans Tuning or Evans Performance University or something like that. Um, he actually goes in depth in each and every single ECU. So Motec, Holly, Haltech, um, Link ECU. Um, so he actually goes and breaks down every table, every PID, every simple little thing that you touch. Um, he actually breaks it down, which is awesome stuff. So that's where I'm learning right now. Um, but as of right now, the car is good. It's up and running. Um, I can go drive it 30, 40 miles an hour. Um, but there's still a lot I got to do. This is a, a whole new brand standalone ECU, so this car doesn't know what the hell is going on. So luckily this is a plug and play model, so the, the dangerous things are done. The timing setup, the triggers for the camshafts and all the cams and all that stuff, all those basic stuff was done. I just had to configure it to the way my car is. Um, yeah, the only issue I've ran into right now, the only small issue is, um, so you have two fans, right? Uh, I guess, because I've never known this, because, let me switch this mic around, hold on one sec, it's gonna make some noise. So, two fans, AC fan and engine fan. I never knew that they were different, um, makes sense I guess. And under here in the relay box, there is um, a sub relay and a main relay. So unfortunately, something's going on with um, my signal. Whenever the AC fan seems to work just fine, no problem. Comes on whenever I set it, comes on when the AC sets it comes on at the temperature that I set but for some reason the engine fan never comes on and basically uh, what happens is the ECU at a certain pin outputs a 12 volt signal to the relay well whenever the fan's supposed to come on or I test it on it's supposed to trigger and ground that wire in the ECU somewhere which stops sending voltage and triggers the relay to connect and send power well that's not happening so that's the only issue I've actually ran into so far with the ECU. Don't know if it's my ECU has an issue or it's bad or something I did in tuning, which I don't think so because I've gone through it and I've already talked to some of the tech guys, but I don't know. That's a work in progress. Um, so down here, everything's apart. I've been playing with this multiple times. I've had to do some wire splicing left and right just for that fan, just so that both of them come on. Um, and back here, I had to drain fuel. So that's why that's all taken apart. So if you look down here, my messy garage, you got four cans of ethanol. That's what it take, took to get uh, this car empty because I actually had the dang thing full. So right now we're on 93 because you tune on 93 
then you switch E85, you tune on E85, and then flex fluid happens. So that's the difference with the Cobb stuff. Kind of just piggybacked off Cobb stuff or Subaru stuff and made their adjustments the way they needed or what the way they could because of the limitations of the ECU. So with that price point, I got this ECU app with the fact that I've been wanting to get it and because my actual Cobb access tuner, the actual access, sorry, the access port, um, the connection on the bottom where the two clips unpull out that go to the OBD2 and the uh, micro USB cable, both those connections have been wearing out and they constantly disconnect um, when I use it. So I'm assuming that that's going bad on me and I'd have to replace the access to, access uh, port because of that or maybe, I don't know, Cobb, Cobb can fix it and replace those ports for a cheaper price. But I don't want to spend another 700 bucks on an access tuner, access port, when I could get this ECU for just a little bit more. So that's why I made that decision. Um, so I still plan on putting content out. I still want to put more things out there. Um, I'm getting things ready. I really want to start getting into motorsport somehow. Um, there's plenty of tracks here in Florida. I want to start taking this car out. I've gotten it to the point where it's no longer a... I've understood that it's no longer a daily driver in the sense of is it fun to drive around the city for whatever reason, to go get groceries, to go to the store, whatever. I take my other cars for that. This, this, there's just too much that this thing takes to run and to do things. Um, the startup, the warm up, the oil temperature, all that stuff. Plus now with the ECU and the tuning. and I, I've understood that this car is meant to, for something that I'm going to get it into. So expect those things to come. Um, but for now, I'm going to make a bunch of videos. I got a bunch to do. I was just super excited, so unfortunately I didn't tape anything about what I've done so far. I just was a kid in a candy store when it came to this, and I'm so excited. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the knowledge from what I do with the Link ECU, I still think that will be universal as far as l understanding what's going on. Um, maybe even more so because now you have to. I'll have to explain the reasons why. Um, in more depth that verse you know make these two adjustments and you should be fine when well, I have to say why you need to make these two adjustments so that might be a little more in depth but that'll, that'll be some more information so um, yeah uh, let me get this car back together I gotta go put some 93 in it um, some petrol 93 or gas 93 uh, do some more tuning I have to drive around and just log um, my AFRs and go from there and get my that part dialed in um, everything is conservative and turned off as far as timing and boost goes so there's nothing fun going on there uh, but the car drives, runs I'm excited and I, I want to bring more to you guys the best that I can so I'll see you next video, take care